This complex behind me includes over 100 new affordable units. It's called the St. Augustine Terrace, and it's one of several properties being converted. Residents in this Bronx neighborhood are praising the church's initiative. The Archdiocese of New York has a new plan. Convert church properties into living space for low-income families. For us in the church, this is a no-brainer. It's a duty. New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan, church leaders and elected officials tackling the city's affordable housing crisis at St. Augustine Terrace in the Bronx. This is where Catholic Charities developed over 100 new units. The Cardinal blessed the new facility, which used to belong to Our Lady of Victory Church. We will continue to partner with so many dedicated allies in building and hosting affordable housing. This site is one of at least six church properties being converted into low income and affordable housing within the Bronx and Manhattan. The initiative will create nearly 2,000 units over the next decade. That doubles the 2,000 units developed over the last 40 years. Monsignor Kevin Sullivan heads Catholic Charities in the New York Archdiocese. In this day and age when housing is such a challenge, when affordability is such a challenge, that the church is doing this as an affirmation of our continuing reaching out. At St. Augustine Terrace, a third of these new units will be set aside for adults with mental illnesses, where they'll receive services from Catholic Charities. The city's first lady, Charlene McRae, stressed the importance of treating mental illness. For New Yorkers living with serious mental illness, it means stability and the freedom that comes with living independently, surrounded by the support that they need to stay healthy. Residents living around this new complex are applauding the church's effort. That's needed. The prices on the apartments, uh, it, it's, it's off, off the chart. I mean, for people with limited income, I mean, that's why there's so many homeless people. I think that's good, because there's a lot of people homeless in the street, and they refuse to stay in shelter because the living condition in the shelter is bad. It took nearly a decade for this 12-story building to be completed. One resident told me he moved in last October and loves his studio apartment because he has his own personal space. In the Claremont section of the Bronx, Tim Harfman, Currents News. Back to you, Liz. Tim, we can see there that that complex is complete, but what about the other projects? Well, Monsignor Sullivan told me that two new buildings are under construction, currently under construction. As for the others, they're in the planning stages, but the Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese looks to have them completed within a decade.